Welcome to episode 2 of the Honda CRX restoration. In this episode I'm going to continue stripping the car down and assessing its condition along the way. As you can see already, I've decided to start at the back and work my way forward. Before removing the rear end suspension components, I'm going to soak the nuts and bolts with plus gas, and hopefully we can avoid shearing any, but something tells me that that's going to be inevitable. Anyway, let's get the rest of the bolt sprayed and then continue stripping while it soaks in. Ah, the good old wood screw, such a versatile fixing. I wonder whereabouts on the car we will find the zip ties and duct tape. Well, the bumper's off and it looks as though I'll be able to save it and the bracket. But now the rear end is exposed, it's worse than I thought. It's at this point you start to wonder if it's sensible to continue with a project or cut your losses. But before we let those negative thoughts sink in, let's have a look at the cells and see how much is left. Well, it's the moment of truth. Hey, 
hey, it's not actually as bad as expected. I thought there would be nothing left under here. Now let's have a look at the passenger side. And once again, it's not really that bad at all. Well, I think it's safe to say that it's not a lost cause, and we can crack on with this restoration. I'm going to be dropping the suspension from the car in as complete a unit as possible so that it's easier to store and keep track of the parts. Well that was a lot easier than I expected it to be, and we didn't even shear any bolts which is even more amazing. I wonder if the front end will come apart as smoothly.
I don't need to split the top ball joint since I'm dropping the full unit, but I'm doing it anyway just in case for some reason I can't get the top control arm off. With all the bottom bolts removed, all that's holding it now are four nuts underneath the fuse box. Well, just like the rear suspension, the front wasn't that difficult to remove either. While you're working on all of these rusty suspension components, I can't help but get excited for the day I get to refit them, all powder coated and rebushed. This is going to be one heck of a transformation. Now that the suspension is out, let's move to the front of the car and start removing parts so that we can get the engine dropped out.
Because all of these lights are original Stanley units, the value on this shelf is nearly as much as what I paid for the whole car, which I find insane. The power steering fluid cooler has definitely seen better days. Now to drain the coolant. Hmm, I think this radiator might need replaced. I get the feeling its cooling efficiency might not be quite good enough. What do you think? Having the correct tool for these clips is a godsend. Too many times I've nearly came a cropper using pliers or vice grips. With the coolant hoses disconnected, I now need to remove the aircon compressor and power steering pump so that the engine can drop out cleanly. Well, that's everything removed that needs to be to allow the engine to come out. I just need to have a good look around, making sure that there are no stray wires or hoses left attached that will get caught up.
the engine crane is in place. Now, let's buzz the engine mounts off. Well that was painless, now let's get the crane unhooked and out of the way. Do you remember this little guy from episode 1? Well, thanks to you guys, we now know that he is called Milma Bat, and he comes from the Smelly Beast collection of air fresheners, and is now going to be the mascot for the CRX restoration. With the panels removed, I think I'm going to call it a day with this episode. So, let's have a quick walk around the workshop and have a look at all the stuff that's been removed from the CRX in this episode. I know that for some of you, this episode won't have been terribly interesting, as I know lots of you have stripped down your own cars and bikes, and have seen this process first hand. But, for others new to the restoration game, and more importantly, new to the Honda CRX, this stage will have been very educational as well as interesting, I hope. So with the walk around done, all that's left now is for me to say I hope you enjoyed the video and will join me again next time when I will be unpacking these three heavy boxes and cracking on with the next stage of the restoration. See you all again soon.